hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting adobe illustrator tutorial and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to draw text on path or on lines or anything that you created and you want your text to stick to it so for the text that you created have been stuck to stuff you know in plain on boring paragraphs and lines and stuff like that but we can now attach it to our path is going to be written on that path whatever path that you guys specify but before i do that let me show you that the type tool for putting type on path is here but we are not going to use it we are going to use the basic type tool with a keyboard shortcut alt that modifies it into type on path tool so first of all let me remove its this basic drawing shape rectangular fill of course you can let the fill in it does not disturb anything i'm gonna remove it then i'm gonna also increase the size of the stroke to say five so that it is a little bit visible if i is too much i think three would be okay so now as some uh, tutorials previously told you if you click on a line or a stroke like this then what it's going to do is going to fill the entire uh, structure or you know the uh, shape that you created into a text area and it's gonna fill it with some sort of a place of your text but we don't want that we want this the text to be attached to the path only to do that we need to hold on the alt key on the keyboard and then it change our cursor into this sort of shape from circle to you know, a line and now if I click it you can see the text is being put on the you know path on the line the stroke only so now let me zoom in a little here and now i can write something here text on a path in matters of seconds okay so like that let us increase the size of our text maybe to i don't know 36 point and maybe a little bit more crazy okay 14 okay now if you feel path is a little bit out of shape you can adjust this with these small icons here this first line over here and this end line you know they all do different things there are three lines you know, have to be zoomed in a little to see them the first one increase the area from where your text must be it does not change its position okay the second one changes position as you can see you can put, bring it here bring it back there but you cannot go further beyond this line because this is the end point or the starting point as you can see now if i bring it here it does not bring it here it disappears i'm gonna undo that i can only adjust it inside it like so as you can see like that okay of course if i increase it i will increase the text either where the text will be this line you know if i adjust it to this side it brings it inside of the line or the stroke if i bring it outside okay i have to select it these things are a little bit harder to select then my stuff would be selected again like so but as you can see i messed up all the lines so this one is for adjusting its position okay just select the one and as you can see i can put it inside with it and take it outside take its position downwards upwards wherever i want this one is more useful because it will just its position along here now i can change its color okay let me and this is kind of okay right is a little bit okay better okay something like that let's put a stroke on it okay like that now our text looks much more better and a stroke of this line is somehow disappeared but we don't mind that okay we can put a fill on it actually we can put a fill on our text not on our line so this is how you can put a text on paths but you are not just limited to basic drawing shape you can even draw your own lines or paths with a pen tool or pencil tool or any other line that you want for example like this like this and like this and as you can see uh, it has filled we don't want we just want the path so let's end it here 
okay and now i'm going to select the text tool i hold down the alt key and click on it it's gonna oh actually the size is too big it's gonna put text here on it and now i can write on it text size is too small on uh actually something is gonna be terribly long and now let me put it again Okay, I'm controlling everything. Okay, now let me select it. And now if I click here and it just size to 21. And now write on it text. Actually, not just text on a line. Then it's going to be on this line. Okay, like so. But since it was messed up because it was earlier on once adjusted and the thing was too big, so it's not actually uh, sticking to the line, it's a little bit out of the line, out of the place. Let me make another line, and now hopefully, if we put text on it, it's going to. Why is it putting text like this? I want it to stick to it. Okay, maybe there is a reason I'm all saying it, but there must not be a reason like this. Okay, so let me put the line into black, and now, okay, the line is here. Let's put it once more with a renewed hope. Okay, now it's adjusted. Okay, next on a line really easily achieved after some hurdles okay so now you can see i've achieved the impossible i put text on the line and of course you can always adjust the size of your line you know you can change it you can increase it you know you can rotate it and the text should adjust with it accordingly you know you can change its size and stuff another thing the line is still adjustable and the text will adjust with it and you can make beautiful lines and stuff like this you can put text on any sort of path as long as you do or use the proper or the right command so with that said i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned after this tutorial how to put text on paths and i will see you in the next tutorial until that time goodbye